Hi guys! Today I thought we would do kind of a different video. I was laying in bed last night kind of thinking about makeup trends that I don't like. First of all, if my lips look crazy, it's because I just filmed the Lip Sensi review and I can't take it off because it's a pain in the butt to get off, so I'm just gonna leave it on. So if my lips look patchy and weird, watch that review and you'll know why it should be up. And uh, my hair was annoying me, so I threw it up in point If it looks messy, um, I don't really care. So I wanted to do my five makeup trends that I would like to stop. Just some beauty trends right now that I don't like and I would like to see them stop because I just don't think they're that flattering and pretty. Okay, so first one, cream colors in the waterline. It looks super good on camera. Whenever I see someone in person that has it on, I tend to like focus on it because I'm like, that doesn't look right. Or you start to see the red outline of their actual, like uh, as the product is wearing off, you'll see the outline and it just looks weird. I don't like it. I just would like to see it stop. I don't know. Okay, second beauty trend. I would like to see gone forever. This is my worst one. Are you ready for it? I'm gonna do it for you so that you can see the beauty trend that I hate the most. Let's get y'all in real close so you can see what it is. Are you ready? Highlighting the tip of your nose makes no sense to me. Just looks like you put your nose in your highlighter on accident, that you got a little too close looking and you dabbed your nose in it. It just looks ridiculous. Your highlight is supposed to be if a light was shining above you, where would it shine on? Which is right here and right here and it would probably hit right here a little bit and it would hit the bridge of your nose and maybe a teeny bit of your chin. It would not be shining so brightly on the tip of your nose right here. That's not where the light shines. And so it just looks weird. Girls, stop highlighting your nose. That is my second one that I wish would stop. As you can see, I look like just a sparkly Rudolph. No red, but sparkles. All right, the third one I can't do because I'm wearing Lip Sensi, but overlining your lips. <sighs> I think this probably started with the Kardashians at least the recent overlining your lips, Kylie and everyone, when she claimed she didn't have lip injections and she just overlined her lips because she didn't want everyone to know, and then everyone else started overlining their lips. Girls, it just looks sloppy. It just looks sloppy from far away, maybe. From far away, you're like, ooh, dang, that girl's got big lips. And then you get up close and you're like, <sighs> oh, it looks sloppy. Don't overline your lips. Just follow the natural line of your lip. You know, I don't mind like barely, barely going over, like following the line of the skin, but it, even that, it just looks sloppy. But be fine with having smaller lips. Not everybody needs to have gigantic lips. Spray some. You probably look beautiful anyways. There are some really beautiful women out there that look perfectly fine with skinny lips. And sometimes that's what makes them pretty. Sometimes the flaws are what makes you look beautiful and you need to embrace them. So stop overlining your lips. It just looks like you don't know what you're doing. I don't care who does it. Number four is a really thick wing liner, like super thick. I just, and then when your eyes are kind of normal, all you can see is black. It's just not flat, flattering. Some people, I think they watch these girls with beautiful eyes on YouTube like um, Laura Lee, Jacqueline Hill, who have these deep set eyes that can do a nice thick eyeliner, like really thick, nice wing, and it looks fine. Because, but then you've got all these girls that have normal eyes or semi-hooded eyes or hooded eyes that are trying to do this like really thick wing, and then it just looks bad because all you can see is black. So. I'm kind of tired of the really thick winged liner. Number five is actually not a makeup trend. It is a hair trend that I really dislike. And let me just do it for you really quick. All right, this is the other beauty trend that I would like to see go. Is the little weird half up bun where it's just like this weird bun that just sticks straight up. Like I don't mind when they make it messy, but where it's just that little loop, ugh. No, girls, no. Stop doing it. It looks ridiculous. 
I don't know who started that trend or why. Even when I see guys do it, like I love a good messy bun. I love a good messy bun. But when you just got that little like loop, it just looks dumb. So that is my five beauty trends that I would like to see go fly out the door and never come back. And I'm gonna actually add one little bonus thing that I'd like to see stop happening. And it's not a beauty trend, it's a YouTube trend. But the openings to a tutorial where they're doing this. Like their little seductive I don't even know, come hither looks that they do with music at the very beginning just kind of makes me laugh and I feel like it's really gimmicky and really cheesy. Let me know down below if there are any beauty trends that you absolutely hate and you would like to see stop. And if you do any of these beauty trends and you love them, you do you and I'm glad for you but I don't like them. But you can still do them and be happy because you like them. So. Don't be upset if I said some beauty trends that I hate that you do because as long as you like doing them, then it's perfectly fine. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.